What, what is your understanding of the post-pandemic world order? Which countries or entities, according to you, are leading this or are set to lead this in the foreseeable future? Thank you. Uh, uh, first, I would like to uh, um, thank you for the invitation and the warm welcome. I would like to extend sincere thanks to the organizers. Uh, this is a crucial question um, because um, when, uh, when confronted with death, people will look to who will save them. So the country or the force that will, that will be recognized as having saved the world from the pandemic will gain power. Um, political leaders, uh, and we saw that, uh, who uh, did management mistakes during the crisis will pay a high political price. Um, management mistakes during the pandemic could undermine leader or government authorities. Um, so I think the, the, the lesson that we have from the COVID-19 is that old lesson uh, doesn't apply. There is a, a, an exceptional uncertainty on how the world will change, uh, but we can uh, imagine basic outlines of how the uh, new uh, global leadership will be with but it remains speculative um, this will depend of the recovery uh, I think um, recovery will depend on the crisis management and uh, the quick containment of the virus and here we can see that um, the response of Asian countries such as China India um, South Korea Vietnam contrasted frankly with uh, that of Europe and the Americas. Uh, the speed and the, the strength of the recovery will depend, uh, will vary across regions, uh, depending on access to uh, medical intervention, uh, effectiveness of policy support, uh, exposure to uh, cross-country spillovers, and also uh, uh, characteristic of countries at the beginning of the crisis. Uh, while we'll see China and uh, India uh, will continue to grow in 2021, uh, Europe, Eurozone and the Latin America will lag behind probably. So uh, the recovery was, will also depend on uh, parameters such as innovation, like in 2008 crisis, economic crisis, uh, countries that survived and emerged after the crisis were those who invested in uh, innovation and new technologies. Um, so those will be the fastest to recover and to gain uh, economic return when the economy rebound. Um, so uh, the crisis, it is clear that there was no global, uh, no, no, neither country played a global leadership role during the pandemic. This is clear. And I think it is unlikely that uh, the new leadership will come from one country. Uh, Again, like in the 2008 crisis, uh, China, with its 12% growth, annual growth, played a crucial role in the, uh, in the world recovery. Today, I think China and the US, and the US have uh, enough uh, internal challenges. Um, the US, despite the political change, I think uh, unilateralism will persist for a while due to internal uh, economic uh, issue and reconstruction and uh, probably uh, U.S. Uh, interest to the world will be smaller. Um, and China, uh, China will probably uh, try to continue to promote its model, uh, especially including how they contain the, the virus. Um, but it will, and of course, China will try to uh, establish leadership by filling the place left by the U.S., like when the United States uh, withdraw from the WHO. But, this w but it must be tough, and I think uh, it will be very challenging for China to provide it. So I believe that the new leadership will come from many countries, kind of multipolar, pl pluralistic, uh, with pluralistic world with multiple uh, 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 leaders, uh, India, uh, Brazil, uh, Europe, US, China. Uh, tension will continue to exist between this country and the limit of their influence uh, will be certainly contested. Um, a third force, third force, neither China nor the U.S. could emerge um, after the from the the, the post-pandemic order. Uh, an alliance of countries like I heard, 
uh, but I think it is, it is too early to tell.